Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome back to Now It's Dark, I'm Jim. I watched a movie called Family Dinner. Uh, it's technically a 2022 film, but I do believe it also gets credit as a 2023 film, having just released uh, in Canada. So, if you're in Canada, it's a new movie. Um, it's one hour and 37 minutes, got a 5.9 star rating on IMDb. It's about an overweight teenager who's spending the holiday at her aunt's farm in the hope of getting help to lose weight. But soon after her arrival, she begins to suspect that something is very wrong at this place. Directed and written by Peter Hengel. Starring, let's go over the four main cast members. Starring Pia Harizer, Zegger, Claudia, Michael Pink as Stefan, Nina Caitlin as Simi, and Alexander Sladek as Philippe. And I do apologize, I'm positive I butchered those names. Um, this is a film from Austria, so there is um, subtitles. This was a screen box exclusive in conjunction with BloodyDisgusting.com. And I have to look at my notes because I remember there being, I thought, a trigger warning. Yes, okay. Uh, so into the film, there is a trigger warning. Um, uh, there's a hunting scene, and then um, after you kill an animal, you have to skin it and prepare it. And it really looked like they used a real... Uh, animal. I won't tell you what kind of animal or what, but if that kind of stuff is a trigger, this film won't be for you. So the film takes place over Easter week, um, and it kind of is was interesting because it starts on a Monday, uh, and you know that because each day of the week is kind of transitioned with the title card saying what day of the week it is. And on Monday, Simi, Simi shows up. I think her name is Simone, maybe. Um, and she's overweight. She's there to stay with her aunt and her family for the week uh, or longer. It's really not determined, but I think it was for the week. Um, in the hopes to lose weight, unbeknownst to the aunt, who has written books about nutrition and weight loss, and um, once that kind of becomes... Uh, known to the aunt that that's why she seemingly is there. Um, she takes her on as her project or student. She calls her something, her, her I don't know what, but um, she, she definitely uh, puts her through the ropes about nutrition and she has to detoxify her, her body. So she ends up only being able to have like water throughout a lot of the movie. Each night of the week, they do have dinner, and there's always some sort of conversation or something uh, going on um, with it. Also, on that first night, there is a some a very short but voyeuristic sex scene where Simi sees um, her aunt and her husband. Stefan having sex and I, I wasn't really sure at first why they did that but I think it's a subliminal thing that that gets planted in our heads there's a lot of um, red herring type situations in the movie it's a very slow movie it's a, it's a very like kind of slow paced um, daily thing but I don't know, like, they do a good job of kind of building uh, Simi's character and the other three, because that's all we have to focus on are these four characters. So the slow pace um, with very little action, but, you know, the dialogue is good between these characters. And Philippe is her cousin. Uh, they have to share a room. And, like, throughout the week, there's different things that happen, uh, like I'll mention just one of, of the multiple things that happen, like Simi's phone goes missing. Um, so Philippe gets um, 
blamed for that type of thing. So it's like set up. Um, so we go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it becomes Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. So when we get to about midweek, um, Simi notices that Philippe uh, has like a weird relationship with his stepfather, Stefan. Um, and, uh, you know, he's trying to please Stefan and also, um, is just struggling with things. You know, he's a rebellious teen kind of a thing with an overpowering mother and a stepfather. So Simi kind of sees that at one point, Philippe has a black eye. We're not really sure who gave that to him. Uh, Simi, Simi thinks it's Stefan, but we really don't know if it was the mother or the stepfather. Um, and then, uh, through the struggles of the, of the not being able to eat, Simi wants to leave several times and go back to her mom. Um, she kind of befriends Philippe when she starts kind of feeling bad because she sees the struggle that he's having with his relationship with his mother and, um, her overpowering nature. And so they, they concoct this plan to escape. They're going to run away. Um, and then when the day comes to run away, Philippe leaves her behind. Uh, he had a key to the gate of the, uh, of the house out front, um, that Simi had stolen. This is a little spoilerish. Um, but then he didn't wake her up, didn't wait for her. So then they have to go into Easter family dinner without Philippe. Um, but then, um, so they do this midnight meal. It's all, it's almost ritualistic cause they have like, uh, candles and things. It's outdoors and I'm not sure, you know, what religion necessarily they were, were, uh, claiming to be, but so it's just the three of them at first for the family dinner, then Philippe is discovered and then it, then it kicks up like a couple of <laughs> crazy notches and, uh, Simi has to become like a badass and, um, yeah, I don't want to ruin the ending, but there's a pretty climactic ending, pretty, um, intense. Uh, this was a Tribeca film festival selection, uh, which is a good, um, recognition at the Tribeca Film Festival in 2022. Um, if you're not triggered by like the animal part of it, it's a good slow burn movie with a good uh, climactic ending. It's not, you know, by any, it's more of a psychological thriller, psychological horror um, with that kind of like that gut punch kind of a ending when you have this revelation of what's going on. Uh, I wish I could be more descriptive of that because if I did, it would totally, totally give it away. And, uh, I really don't want to do that, but I do recommend this. It's called family dinner. I think you're going to see other reviews popping up because it's kind of resurfaced as a new release, a new 2023 film, even though it was a 2022 film. But if you've seen family dinner and you want to leave a non-spoiler comment down in my comments, please do that. Or if it sounds interesting, uh, let me know in the comments down below and have a good dinner. So have your dream. Go on and sing your song. There's nothing wrong with singing out of tune. If people laugh and say your dream can never be, just think of me.